Hello, 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 how are you? So nice to see you, Ceci. Hello, hi, Daniel. Hi, how teacher. Are you? I'm okay. Great. How are you, teacher? I'm okay, I'm all right. I didn't see you yesterday, Ceci. The, the, I'm sorry. I uh, woke up okay. last night. No worry. No, it's okay. Don't be sorry. It's okay. I understand. No, I, I'm telling you porque no recuerdo haber visto su picture, you know? So I'm like, oh, I didn't see her yesterday. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Sorry. It's okay. Thank you for, for being here. Daniel, Maybelline, Gab Gabriela, thank you. You're so responsible and punctual. Thank I get you. it. Hello. You, you are kind of Americans, you know? So you are on time. Perfect. That's awesome. Um, so it's really nice to, to see you today. All right. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, gracias uh, también por enviarme la tarea. So I was listening to your audience, guys. And uh, hay, un, hay un gran avance, all right? There is a really big improvement. Very good job. I was listening to your pronunciation. Very good pronunciation. Creo que por ahí alguien también preguntaba que cuál era la tarea, all right? In case you were not here yesterday, la tarea era la que dejamos de la semana anterior, all right? So era un audio super cortito. Hablando de las actividades que hacen en su trabajo. So, what do you do at work? Okay. Uh, 30 segundos hasta un minuto. It's fine. You're totally fine. Let's go, so, vamos. Vamos. Si send it. Um, pueden enviarlo todavía. All right. So, es súper cortito. Super. Sé que estás haciendo babosa. So. No, es un All right. So everybody, today we are going to uh, finish unit number three, okay? Así el día de mañana comenzamos con la número cuatro and we go for it, okay? This is a part of the WH equations. Ayer revisamos la estructura. We were checking on this. Today vamos a practicarlas. We are going to practice how to ask questions, okay? Um, let me see. Hold on a second. So first, Let's go over WH and yes, no questions. So this is like a very easy topic. First, let's take a look at a couple of possibilities, all right? We have some answers and we have when. So, utilizamos when, we use when. Para que, can you give me uh, an idea, please? Can you help me with this? En que caso utilizamos when? Que significa when? What is the meaning of when? Cuando? Cuando. Cuando, thank you. So, la respuesta here is today, all right? So, for example, when, ¿alguien se recuerda de alguna pregunta usando when? When is your birthday? Yes, today, okay. No, en realidad no, <laughs> not really. But this is the idea. So, cuando pregunto when, necesito dar un tiempo, right? Un momento. So, today, tomorrow, o el día. Who, ayer veíamos who. What is the meaning of who? Quien. Quien. Perfect. Quien. So, the answer is Tom. Porque preguntó de alguien. Okay? The red one. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? What is the WH question? Para que me responda. What? Mm, what? Pero tengo opciones. Y la which? persona dice, ah, which. Which. Next where. Exactly. Which. So, which, which. is which. cuál. Okay? For example, I have two colors and I say, ¿Cuál de esos dos te gusta? Which color, okay? Do you like? Which color do you like? Perfect. So, which es para tener opciones, all right? So, ¿cuál es el carro que te gusta? ¿Cuál es la camisa que te gusta? ¿La blusa que te gusta? ¿El color, all right? So, which. Marys, ¿cuál sería la WH? Any idea here? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Who, all right? Let's take a look. Thank you. Well, this is whose, okay? Que sería the king, all right? Whose is the king? Like, whose pencil is this, okay? Whose cell phone is this? The king, whose, all right? Uh, at home, ¿cuál es la pregunta? What is the question? Where? Oh, let's take Where a look. do you from? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's take, take a look at the possibilities. At home, ¿cuál puede ser la pregunta? Where? Where? Yes. 
Can you help me with a full question? ¿Cómo sería Where do you work? Where do you work? Exactly, very good. Where? Puedo responder at home, and it's okay. Where do you work? Where do you study? Okay. Where do you cook? So it's fine. A car. What about a car? What is the WH? Who's? What? Who's this car owner? What? All right. So what? So what is um? What is very like general para what? cualquier objeto, right? So that's a what. What? Next one. Buy bike. Let me show you the answer. Oh, this is yeah. how. Okay. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. ¿Cómo llegas a tu casa? How do you get to your house? How do you get to work? How do you get to the park? So you can answer it by bike. En la bicicleta, right? Uh, and the last one says, because it's hot. So, ¿cuál es la pregunta? What is the WH uh, word that is missing? Because what? Why? Why? Exactly. So, siempre que la pregunta sea why, mi respuesta es because. Estoy dando una because. razón. Exactly. Why and because. There we go. Estamos bien. Do you have any question at this very moment? Who's? Vamos a re revisarlo en un par de segundos. Okay, no worries. Con los demás, si tenemos claro cuando utilizamos esas WH words. Yes, yes, yes. En el caso de which. Okay, ahorita, give me a second. I'm going to share my screen. All right, uh, which, okay, this one, lo utilizo para opciones, all right? Uh, in other words, I need, I'm going to use the word choices. Choices es que tengo dos opciones, all right? For example, I have, I have an apple, okay? And uh, banana, okay? I have two things. Y le voy a dar una. Pero quiero saber cuál quiere. Solo tengo estas dos. I don't have more choices. So vengo y le pregunto. Which, which fruit? Which le fruit? Puedo uh, okay, okay. Which fruit or which one? Ambas yeah. se Let me change it. Which fruit? Which fruit you, do you like? What do you want? Which fruit would you like? Exactly. Very good. So. Which fruit? Do you want? Give me a second. Oh my goodness. I cannot get the question mark. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, the thing is that the computer is new, so I'm like getting to, to know the. Uh, you goodness. can fix the. <laughs> Yes, but I did. Okay, okay. But it, there is a question mark. Ya saben que hay un question mark. Okay. <laughs> so, which fruit do you want? Okay. So, which is bien limitado a dar opciones. All right. So, we say, ¿cuál de estas dos quieren? All right. Um, normally, así se usa. Which fruit? Give me a second. So, normally, we use which. Lo puedo cambiar. Okay. I can change it. For example, um, I always think about food, pero tengo, puedo tener más choices. For example, I have a red pen, okay? And also I have a red and blue pen, okay? And uh, le quiero dar algo, le quiero compartir algo, y yo le puedo preguntar, which pen do you want, okay? Uh, which pen do you need? Or which one do you need? Which one do you want? So which is bien limitado cuando yo tengo up choices, all right? Are we okay? Are we fine? Did we get it? Tell me yes, tell me no, yes. tell me maybe. <laughs> yes, I got it. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, that's okay. So uh, this is pretty much the way how we use which, okay? Uh, so no, no los logro ver chicos, así que please, si, si me pueden dar some verbal eh, confirmation, se los agradezco, okay? Um, so, okay, this is pretty much it. Now, vamos a trabajar. We are going to work on WH questions, but me van a ayudar. You are going to help me out here. Number one, complete the questions with a question word. ¿Qué es una question word? Son siete, there are seven. ¿Cuáles son? Help me out, please. WH words? Yes, WH words. Son siete. Tell me which are the yeah. WH words. Why, what? Why, what? How? 
How, How where, 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 who, who when, 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 which. Which. There we go. Son siete, okay? So, number one. Do you get up? Esa es la respuesta. At 7.10. ¿Qué le falta? What is missing here? What time? What time? Okay. Well, your answer. No, but your answer is uh, good. What time? This is very specific. Yeah. Or when do you get up? Yeah. Ambas están bien. No problem. Okay? Uh, very good. Next one. Do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? Okay, what do you have for breakfast? Eh, ¿Tienen otra respuesta? Si tienen algo más, please share. Thank you, Jennifer. Let me give it a try in a second. Okay. What, what, what do you have breakfast? What do you have? Okay, okay, okay. Hold on a second. What, what? Um, okay. Uh, Jennifer, I tried and it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. It says well, here, <laughs> do you have for breakfast? Okay, yeah, the thing is that it got crazy. What do you have for breakfast? So, que desayunan, okay? Tea and toast, yeah. the person say. If I ask you, hey guys, what do you have for breakfast? Que desayunan? What do you have for breakfast? Pupusas, no, right? Not well, anymore. Cereal? Milk and I'm sorry, Jennifer, go ahead. Milk with cereal. Milk and cereal? Okay, thank you. What about the others? What do you have for breakfast? Yes, I even Some bread and coffee? Mm -hmm. No? Similar. Okay. I mean, I have coffee. I have coffee and cookie or coffee and, and, and bread for breakfast. And that's my breakfast, okay? So that's fine. Take a look at the following. Do you go to school? ¿Qué quiero saber? If you take a look at the answer, it says on foot. What is missing? How do you go to school? How, how do you go to school? How do you go to school? Yes. ¿Cómo? How? All right. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. How do you go to school? Following. It's Mary. Oh, había uno que era para preguntar de quién y se los mencioné. Oh, yes. Very good. Whose book is this? De quién? All right. It's Mary's. Es de María, right? It's Mary's. Whose book is this? Next one. Um, your favorite actor. What about this one? Your favorite actor. Who? Who is? Yes. Who is your favorite actor? Exactly. Who is your favorite actor? It's as um, Ashton Kutcher. Mine is not. Who is your favorite actor, people? Adam Sandler. Okay. Thank you. What about <laughs> the others? Who is your favorite actor? Will Smith. Ah, yes. He's a very good actor. Okay. Thank you. Again, Mas. Anybody else? Yeah, I'm need some. Oh, from the movie Taken, right? Yes. Okay, yes. yes. The movie uh, Matrix? The Matrix? Yes. Uh, what is his no. name? I, I don't know. Oh, yes. Keanu Reeves. Reeves. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Keanu Reeves. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? Norma, who is your favorite actor? Me, teacher. Uh, Mirna, thank you. Go ahead. Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. Oh, Denzel. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> thank you. Anybody else? Jason That's... Statham. Ooh, Jason you know, Statham. I have to be honest with you. I have a crush with yeah, uh, on Jason Statham. So he's Tom my crush. crush. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Okay, okay. That's okay. So uh, who is for people? Okay, remember who is people? So, me está preguntando el nombre de alguien, okay? Complete the questions with a question word and find the answer, okay? The number one, uh, the first one here says, uh, why do you, why do you want to go home, all right? Number two, help me with number two, please. Ya lo vamos a machar con la respuesta. Number two, any volunteer? Where do you live? What do you 
It says where live. live. Okay. Where? Okay. Exactly. Where? Very good. Thank you. Next one. The following, please. La siguiente. When? What do you want? When? When do you watch TV? Very close. Uh, very, very close. How, how when? Often? But actually, su pregunta está super bien. How often es que tan a menudo? All right? When mm -hmm. es cuando. Uh -huh. So, sí se parecen. They are very similar. So, good job. Next okay. one, ya se las di. Which hand do you write with? <laughs> Con qué mano escriben, okay? So, which wow. hand do you write with? And the last one, how many brothers mm -hmm. have you got? Or, how many brothers Como do you have? So, um, Teacher, yes, tell me. Yes. Eh, con el oh, which, man. también usamos el with, o solo con el, escribimos algo en específico. Uh, no, here, allow me a second. Okay, in this specific case, utilizo with, porque quiero saber con cuál, all right? So, no es como cuál, sino con cuál mano escribe. So, which hand do you write with? Con cuál. Por eso estamos utilizando with. Al igual que veíamos ayer, si se recuerdan, lo de who y with. ¿Con quién? So, uh -huh. es por esa razón. This is why. Por eso le pregunto, por, porque yo tenía entendido que solo con who era que se usaba with. Pero But, hoy bien estoy viendo el uso acá también, ¿verdad? Por eso pregunté. Yeah, here es porque es bien específico, pero no es necesario. Uh -huh. It's not necessary. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Um, so, allow me a second. Now, I have some questions and you can see answers, but they are not. They don't belong to the, to the next, to the question that is next to each. For example, why do you want to go home? It says every day. This is not the answer, okay? So, what I want you to do is match. Match significa, all right, variarse. So we are going to match the question with the answer. Les voy a brindar un minuto. I will give you one minute. Si quieren escribirlas, it's okay. So feel free to do so. Si quieren solo pensarlas y procesarlas en la mente, it's okay, no problem. O quieren compartirlas en el chat, it's okay. Feel free to do so. So you have one minute, okay? ¿Cuál es la pregunta y cuál es la respuesta que corresponde, all right? One minute. Si tienen preguntas, let me know, please.
Um, okay, everybody. So let's take a look at the answers. Okay, thank you. I don't know who was helping out, uh, trying to match them. It's okay. Uh, let's take a look at what we got. All right. Uh, why do you want to go home? What is the answer? What do you have? Because it's late. Because it's late. All right. Let's take a look. Hold on. Very good, because it's late. Yes, number two, where do you live? What about this In one? Oxford. In Oxford. In Oxford. Yes, there we go. How often do you watch TV? Every, every, every day. day. Every day. Yeah, very good, good, good. Which hand do you write with? With my left hand. With my left hand. Left hand. Okay, so this is what the person said, with my left hand. In my case, I don't write with my left hand, I write with my right hand. So right mm -hmm. and left, right? The last one, how many brothers have you got? Es como preguntar cuántos hermanos tienes. Only one. Yes, there you go. Very good job. So si lo tenemos así, yes. So um, clap, you know, so pat yourself in the shoulder. Very good job, okay. Oh, okay, hold on. Ooh, For some reason, it's, uh, it's kind of, Hold on, hold on. Okay, so let's take a look at the questions that we have right here, okay? Vamos a hacer preguntas. We are going to ask questions about these two guys. So first, vamos a comenzar con both Mike and Annie, but necesito que me ayuden con la pregunta. I want you to help me, okay, with a question. Todas son WH questions. And here, tenemos el verbo, right? For example, here, quiero saber a dónde vive Mike. All right? Y a dónde vive Annie? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? What's the question? Where does where, where do does you live? Mike live? Where where she where she yeah. where she lives? So, vamos a tomar en cuenta, we are going to take into account something very important, where, que es la estructura, all right? ¿Cómo va la pregunta? Yeah. WH where does Annie live? Uh -huh. Oh, That's there you go. You yes. Live? Okay, auxiliary Object, Auxiliary. verb, Auxiliary. complement. Compliment. Okay. So, y el signo de interrogación at the end, right, that I'm going to try to get. So, okay. Oh, I got it. Okay. So, take a look at this one. Vamos a seguir la estructura, all right? Subject. Okay. Yo ya sé que es Annie. I know that we are talking about Annie. Okay. So, uh, I got, okay, hold on a second. Okay. Where does... Annie, where does Annie live? Live. Uh -huh. where? Where, does, uh -huh. where does where does does Annie where does live or live? There you go. No. So, vamos a, if you pay attention here, solamente vamos where respetando que live? tenga todo uh -huh. eso, right? So first. Debe de tener, debe de iniciar con un WH, ¿ok? Then, auxiliary, como es tercera persona, okay. we use does. Subject, hablamos de Danny, de Danny here. Y el verbo no va con ningún cambio. Where does Annie live? ¿Ok? okay. So, um, I will give you a couple of, uh, I will give you a, like two, three minutes maximum, ¿ok? And uh, si uh, podemos utilizar el chat, we can use the chat para las preguntas, ¿ok? No es necesario que pongamos Annie, Mike. Podemos poner, por ejemplo, where does he, where does she live, okay? Mm -hmm. Or where do they live? It's fine. There's no problem. So I will give you two minutes. Escribamos las preguntas. Which are the questions for them? Oh, 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 o
Do you have any questions? Please let me know. Or if you want to, eh, si quieren revisar algo, you know, eh, please, algo que no están seguros, let me know so we can check that. Okay, so I, I, I'm reading your, your sentences. I'm reading your questions here in the chat, okay. Um, so Jennifer, very good job. Where does she live and where does he live? Yes, that's okay. That's the question. Um, Daniel says, how many brothers does Mike have? Yes, very good. That's okay. Gabriela says, what time does he get up? Yep, that's very good. Uh, Jennifer says, how many brothers or sisters does she have? Yeah, that's very good. Uh, Daniel, uh, how many brothers? Oh, I lost it. Okay, let me see. What does, Gabriela says, what does she eat for lunch? How does, how does Mike go to school? That's okay, Daniel, very good. Maybelline says, how does Annie go to school? Yes, very good job, Maybelline, that's okay. All right, very good. Um, so let's take a look at the questions, all right? Number one, where does he live? Where does she live, right? Number two, um, Luis, can you help me with the second, please? Luis, I'm sorry, I stand silencio. Hold on a second. You're in mute. Excuse me, excuse me. How many brothers or sister, excuse me, excuse me. How many brother or sister does she have? Perfect, that's okay, exactly. Very good. Um, let me see, I see we have some people here. Mr. Rivera, are you around? Can you help me with this one, go to school? Jose, hello. Maybe he's not around. Kevin, are you around? Is that por aquí, Kevin? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Um, do you have the third? Do you have number three? Uh, how does my go to school? Perfect. There you go. Thank you very much. Uh, Wendy, can you help me with number four? Wendy, Wendy, hello. <laughs> Maybe she's not here. Uh, Sylvia, are you around? Hello. Hi there. Um, okay, I guess someone is writing right there. Oh, okay. Jose says that tiene problemas con el internet. No se preocupe, Jose. That's fine. That's okay, no problem. So, um, the alguien tiene la, this one, get up. Do you have this one? Alguien la quiere compartir? Do you want to share that one? What times does Mike get up? Very good. What time does Mike get up? Okay. Or what time does Annie get up? Perfect. That's okay. And the last one is um, Bill Naka in the chat. What food does Mike eat for lunch? Okay. Very good, Maybelline, that's a good one. Um, o podemos eliminar el food y lo dejamos general. So what does Mike eat for lunch? ¿Qué come Mike, right? 
but your question is okay. Teacher, it's more teacher, specific. For example, teacher. Yes, for yes, example, Luis. if I if I say, which do you want for lunch? Um, pero me tiene que como que tiene que haber contexto, you know. Which it's okay, which, pero significa uh, que ya sé de lo que food? estoy hablando. Ajá. Uh -huh. Which food? Mm -hmm. For example, imagínese que tenga tres eh, posibilidades de carne, all right? Uh -huh. Y usted tiene que escoger un tipo de carne. Entonces, sí es como which, pero tiene que haber contexto, all right? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. For example, which kind of meat uh, do you like to food to eat? Uh -huh. Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay, uh, thank you. That would be the one. Okay, you're so welcome. No problem. So, thank you. yes, who's a teacher? Uh, Sí, yo. I'm sorry. Eh, well, Silvia. Oh, thank you, Silvia. Silvia. No la logré. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Tell me. Sorry. Eh, tengo, se lo voy a decir en español. Yes. Tengo una consulta. En el caso de brother o sister, uh, no puede ser which. Uh, ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Okay, let's take a look. Ah, eh, como, o sea, no, no, no sé si me quedó muy claro. Como, eh, si el which es como le da la opción. Y, y no, sí, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, that's right. Pero, okay, entonces, uh, okay. yes, tell me. ¿Cómo preguntar si tiene un hermano o tiene una hermana? Siblings, mm. ¿verdad? Yes, pero la pregunta de Silvia no va. Um, ok, let me see if I got your question. Um, la pregunta es como, ¿cuál hermano o si tiene hermanos? I'm not quite sure. Sí, le estoy entendiendo, Silvia. Ah, si tiene hermanos, o sea, como, si tiene hermanos, niña o hermanos, niños, brother and sister. Okay. Um, lo que sucede es que tenemos esas dos palabras, brother and sister. Eh, brother es solamente para hombres, and sister es solo para mujeres. So, vengo y le pregunto, right? ¿Tienes hermanos? Do you have, um, okay, déjeme ver si I got your question. Do you have Any brother? Ok, solo le estoy preguntando si tiene algún hermano. Ok, uh, puedo preguntar si tiene algún hermano. Do you have any sister? Ok, do you have any sister? So, that's fine. O le puedo preguntar, ¿tienes algún hermano o hermana? Ok, do you have any brother or sister? So, eso es para saber si tiene algún hermano. Es diferente que, la, que le pregunte, por ejemplo, ¿cuál de tus hermanos? Ok. Um, no sé, es vegetariano, por ejemplo. So, eso es como ya bien preciso. So, which brother or which sister? Pero si la pregunta es solamente, ¿tienes hermanos? Sí, sería like this. Um, no sé si la pregunta iba por ahí. Sí. Sorry, yes. Oh, ok, ok. It's fine. No, that's fine. Thank no me you. había fijado, estaba en silencio. Ok. Ah, oh, ok, ok, uh, ok. That's all right. Yes, tell me. Yo me, más o menos yo le entendí si se podía ocupar which en persona, así como para hermanos o hermanas, según. Yo pienso que tal vez sí se puede ocupar así como una, una pregunta así, como que uh -huh. tú le preguntes a tu mamá. I should like take a look at <laughs> uh -huh, a qué se refiere. So what are you talking about? Pero sí, of course, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so I will leave you uh, to practice for a couple of minutes. Eh, si tienen preguntas, let me know, okay? Recuerden okay. que está la opción de, de help, what okay? Okay. Muy temprano. <laughs> Hello. Hello there, Hi. how are you? Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you Hello. doing? So, um, lo que estamos haciendo, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So, what we are doing pretty much is cambiar un poquito la pregunta, right? No se puede con todas, pero for example, if my question is for lunch, no solamente puedo preguntar, what do you eat for lunch? Yo puedo preguntar, ¿a dónde almuerza? Where do you eat lunch? O puedo preguntar con quién. Who do you eat lunch with? Entonces la idea es eso, crear más preguntas. All right. Tienen okay. alguna pregunta? Do you have um, an example for me? Sí, sí. Cuando de, puede ser dónde vives o también se podría cambiar con con quién vive, perdón. Ah, por supuesto. Yes, of course. Ayúdeme, please. Help me with that question. 
sé, creo que sería eh, Uy. Uy. Uh -huh. Ok, uh, com comencemos como es información la que quiero, comenzamos con una WH. So, ayúdenme a estructurarla, please. ¿Cuál sería el primero? How do you live with? Close, very close, pero no sería how. Who. Mm -hmm. There Who? you go. Who. Who? Who, eso dije. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> escuché how. Ok, it's ok, it's ok. Es que me falla la pronunciación. Oh, no, no, no worries. Maybe, uh, a mí también me falla el oído, así que no se preocupen. It's fine. Very good, very good, very good. Um, so, sería who, right? Who? Do. You live with. Perfect. There you go. I live with my family. Yes. Or it puede ser bien específica. I live with my brother, mm -hmm. my father, my mom. In my case, I live with my sister. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So, guys, eh, practicamos la pregunta que Maybelline hizo. Who do you live with? Uh, I live with my pa my parents and my brother. Perfect. There you go. Uh, Wendy, okay. who do you live with? I live with my husband. Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> only, only with my husband. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for. Uh huh. I come came out. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. You're fine. So okay. Perfect. What about the others? ¿Qué otra pregunta podemos hacer de estas que no sea la que ya revisamos? Um, Remember, podemos cambiarla. We can change it. No es necesario uh, que usamos exactamente esta palabra, ¿ok? For okay. example, get up, yo le puedo agregar. Y en vez de preguntar, what time do you get up? Yo le puedo preguntar. How often? Um, Sí, pero how often, ok, intentemos hacerlo, ok. Get, how often do you get up at 5 a.m.? Oh, yes, very good question, yes. How often do you get up at 5 a.m.? Uh, now, not very often. Okay. Normally, <laughs> yes. Normally, I get up at 4 in the morning. But these days, por la cuarentena, because of the quarantine, um, I get up at 6 What about you? How often do you get up at five in the morning? Podemos decir never, nunca, always, alguna, siempre, or sometimes, algunas veces. So I sometimes get up at 5 a.m. Okay, very good, thank you. So you sometimes. Maybelline, Wendy, and you? How often do you get up at five? ¿Qué tan a menudo se levantan a las cinco? Mm. Uh, usually, usually every day, but por la cuarentena. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, What? Seven, seven, eight, eight. Oh, beautiful. That is paradise. Okay. So you wake up at five, 7 a.m. Very good. Me, uh, Wendy, what about you? Um, in, my, in my case, is uh, normally I I get up at, at 5.30 a.m. every day. But in this case, um, How do you say quarantine in English? Quarantine. In English. Quarantine. quarantine. <laughs> or, or lockdown. Uh, aquí se lo comparto. Uh, okay. Yes, 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 tell me. So what time do you wake up now? Uh, at 7? Uh, 7 a.m. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because there is no traffic. No sale de la casa. You stay at yeah. home. Okay. Okay, I understand. <laughs> it's okay. No, yeah, it's it's awesome. Okay, very good. So, um, let's think about one more question. Okay, pensemos en una más que sea un poco diferente con las palabras que tengamos acá. And los veo en un par de segundos. So, keep practicing, please. Okay, thanks, teacher. Welcome.
Okay, so welcome everybody. Give me just a second. Vamos a esperar que los demás terminen too. Okay, so um, estábamos practicando algunos verbos, por ejemplo, live, right? Go, estaba go to school. Um, falta alguien, I am missing one person. Okay, hold on. Just hold on a second. Okay, there we go. So, okay, we are complete now. Okay, so we were practicing some questions, okay? El primero que veíamos era el verbo live. Díganme un par de posibilidades. Aparte de where do you live, ¿qué más puedo preguntar utilizando live? Um, why do you live in El Salvador? Yes, thank you, Gabriela. Why do you live in El Salvador? That's a very good question. ¿Alguien le gustaría responderle? Would you like to answer? Um, I am. Uh, yeah, Daniel, go ahead. Okay. Uh, what What do I like uh, living in Salvador? Uh, I consider um, this is a beautiful country. Uh, we have amazing beaches. Um, okay. And uh, we have uh, beautiful people. Uh, people work hard every single day. And uh, we have. Um, and the best people um, I consider. Oh, nice. Okay, very good job. Very good answer. Excellent. Okay, so yes, I am totally in agreement with you. So we are nice people, friendly people, and hardworking people. Thank you. Um, Alguien tenía por ahí la pregunta de con quién viven. Ayúdenme a formularla. Con quién viven. What is the question in English? Who do you live with? Thank you, Enrique. Oh. Yes. Who do you live with? Next person. Okay, I'm going to have a volunteer, please. Or si no, I will have a victim. So any volunteer, aparte de Daniel? Okay, thank you, Mr. Nelson. I'm going with you. Hello. Oh. Hi there. Okay, these guys have a question for you. Who do you live with? I live with my parents. Okay, okay. Thank you. That's okay. That's fine. All right. Uh, thank you very much. That's a very good answer, actually. What about the rest? Alguien más tiene otra pregunta. Do you have another question? I I have a question, teacher, but, yes. but, but no sé cómo es la forma correcta de, de, de formularla. Díganos y le ayudamos, no hay problema, don't worry. Um, how do you prefer uh, your brother or sister? Okay, I got it. Um, how do you prefer? I, I don't know. So, I understand que quieren preguntar como a quién prefieres, si es al hermano o a la hermana. Is that so? Sí. Como si tiene favorito, right? Exacto. Okay. Um, so, sería who, a quién, okay? Who do you prefer? Aunque es una pregunta un poco extraña. Okay, so who do you prefer? Uh, your brother. Yeah, es un poco raro. Or your sister, okay. Es que es bueno, es bueno para molestar a los hermanos. Oh, ok. Um, ok, who do you prefer, your brother or sister? Imagine you're learning English para hacerle bullying, right? So, who do you prefer, your brother or your sister? That's all right. Uh, también puede ser, who is your favorite? Who is your favorite? Ok, so, your brother or your sister. También se puede, it's ok. So, and I'm giving you more ideas to uh, go for bullying your brothers and sisters. Okay, uh, that's all right. Um, so, do you have a favorite brother or a favorite sister? ¿Tiene un hermano favorito? I don't have a favorite brother or a favorite sister. And I you? don't have. You don't have. No. Yes, I. <laughs> yes, I. Oh, have. you have a favorite have. brother. Is it a brother or a sister? Um, I have two sisters. Okay. My favorite is my, is my little sister. 
Oh, your little sister. Okay. What about the others? Do you have a favorite brother or sister? This is new for me. Yo no tengo. I love my brothers and my sisters. Y los, los amo y los odio a veces por igual, right? <laughs> I don't have a favorite. So what about you guys? Uh, do you have a favorite? Daniel? I am only child. Oh, you're so blessed. Okay, no brothers and no sisters. You're an only child. That's a blessing. You don't have to share toys. You don't have to share uh, food. food. <laughs> yes. So no comparte. He doesn't share. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. ¿Quién más es an only child? ¿Quién más es hijo o hija única? Only Daniel. What about the others? Is your family big or is your family small? Uh, it's small. Okay, well, yeah, okay. Your family is small. You don't have brothers or sisters. Alguien tiene muchos hermanos. Do you have a lot of brothers or a lot of sisters? How many Me. do you have? Maybelline, how many brothers Hi. and sisters? I have four sisters and one brother. Okay, so. And a brother. For sisters, a brother. Thank you. Alguien más tiene más que, que, que Maybelline? ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? <laughs> yeah, we're going to make an option here. Well, creo que I win. I have more brothers. I have like, I don't know. I have like maybe 12 brothers and like 10 sisters, I think. So my, my family is huge. So oh, that's a little brother uh, or... I'm not sure. I think I have a... Yeah. That's my dreams job. Este es mi empleo soñado. That's my dreams job. Okay, to be on vacation. Teacher. Good night, good night. Gabriela, tell me. Eh, mañana tenemos clases. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, yo sé que es el día del padre, así que felicidades para quienes son padres, padres en potencia, etc. All right, congratulations. <risa> Espero que lo puedan disfrutar. Daniel uh, es uno. Sí, tenemos clases. Nos <risa> vemos siempre a las nueve de la noche. Ahora terminamos la unidad, eh, esta unidad. All right, mañana comenzamos con la nueva. Así que, please, pongámonos al día. Si les falta, eh, algunos van a tener día off. All right, así que aprovechenlo. Y tómense un par de minutitos también para la plataforma. All right. Si no han podido entrar a las sesiones anteriores y se traban, pueden ir a YouTube o escríbanme. Un poquito tarde, pero les contesto, all right? I will do my very best to answer. So, gracias a todos. See you tomorrow. Have a good one. Have a good night. Yeah, good night.